Love drum, the BS. All I gotta say is sticky drama everywhere. I swear, hot sticky drama everywhere I go. It's BS. I think I'm losing my mind, but everyone thinks it's just my freaking medication. I swear, but it's my mental illness. It's my mental illness getting the best of me. I swear, no one understands when I say ish. Well, you know what? What would you do? Would you do anything for love? Would you do anything? Thing for the no, for the one person you're is in love with, I swear. Some days it's just drama in my head. I swear, my head hurts like freaking crazy. My case manager doesn't know is she keeps running her mouth to my doctors about what she thinks I need for help and what I need for shots. Well, you know what? Oh, I gotta say it. F yeah, you call me F you. I could care less. I'm not on your side, and two, you ain't there for me, and three, I don't want to work with you, sorry. A word, yeah, you heard me, this is what's up, I swear, I'd rather be dead and watch my ish, let my seizures just kill me, straight up word, cause I'm sick and tired of whores are coming around, always hating on me, from CCO to DVO that I'm representing now, by the way. <laughs> Boo who you cry me on rubber, you bit you fucking yeah, I get told to go f, f myself. Well you know what? It ain't gonna happen at all by the way. Yeah, your daughter's a fucking nasty whore. She's been around the block too many times just like her mom. Once a whore, always oh, whore, just like mother and daughter. He <laughs> I'm sick and tired of being ish I'm sick and tired of trying to be lenient to everybody who Hates on me, and I'm sick and tired of being respectful. Gotta respect other people's and their wishes. Well, you know what? They're all a horse and man horse, too. I ain't gonna ish deal with it. Another cold is back. I rush put a ish to my head. You think I know what ish is? You think you. Ish? How many times do I gotta say it? My dad and his roommate need to cut the out and sit up out of my. In love life, and I should say my affairs, please, because I'm, hello, you hate us, how can I put this in so many words, I'm a rock star, rock star, overnight celebrity, rock star, you can all go is yourselves, cause I ain't gonna deal with this shit, and yes, I do come from, well, you know, yeah, I do come from a stupid hometown, which I consider bringing Halloween, Halloween town, hey, that's a bill of New Hampshire, damn, yeah, okay, I was born in Milton, yeah, okay, my mom was a whore, alright, no biggie, no big deal, I just hate my two-ish, I just hate my co-guardian who happens to be my sibling, damn, she's just a waste of time, I swear, everyone says who, which is which, and who are you related to, I swear, paparazzi, damn, Paparazzi is always taking pictures of me everywhere I go. <laughs> they even want pictures of me and my fucking boyfriend. Me and my hot new me and my hot new man. I'm sorry, but I, all I gotta say is he's worth every smile. He's worth everything. Definitely. I hate to say this, but uh I I don't know how to say it as but uh <laughs> I definitely got a total D E F hottie. I'm sorry, but he might be tall. He might be six to seven feet tall, but I don't care. He's a fucking, yeah, he's a, <laughs> everyone hating, everyone's got it. Oh, everyone, all the, all the haters always hating on me because he's taller than me. Yeah, because he's ish. They're just, je they're just jealous, honey. They're just jealous of what they can't get when I see what they can't get from me and they're just jealous because I got, I got myself a harder a finer man even though I know his best friend Mikey is kind of his best friend Mikey is harder so bad like oh I don't know what to do but well, here comes too hot guys one two <laughs> you know damn it well I don't know what to do I swear it's like a deadly adrenaline coming through my head and in my in my 
in my dreams, putting up with the bullshit with Chris Anthony. Damn, please. Ugh. I swear, the stupid court, how's I swear? The judge wants to, is, yeah. The judge wants to put him out. The judge just wants to let him out of prison because he's been there for so many years, for more than 27 years now, whatever. Well, you know what? He doesn't deserve to live in. You know what? He deserves the death penalty. And you know what? He deserves death for life. And you know what? He deserves the death bed. I seriously rather see him run in hell than let him walk the streets. I swear, around my hometown again because he did what he did. And it's not cool. Now he's trying to say he doesn't want to be in life. He, now he's trying to make up lies and stories just to get out of prison to walk the streets of New Hampshire. I swear, you know what? <laughs> he's always making up excuses, drama, of course. Just to be like, I didn't rape her. I didn't rape Miss Braggy Bullsh. You did too. You temporarily raped me. What the am I supposed to say? Okay, you were supposed to be my childhood friend, not do that shit to me after you did it to your step siblings your stepsisters i'm sorry but uh i can't trust you and uh yeah i can't trust around me or my, and my niece and nephew i'm sorry no hell no until the day i die you ain't in walking the streets i'm sorry i really hate to take dramatic met dra dramatic measures but uh I ain't dealing with this anymore. It's bad enough. I'm going to be a victim of yours for the rest of my life until the day I die. <laughs> when I go to sleep, I keep having these nightmares from, from, from freaking getting temporary creeps. I swear, it hurts me so bad. But part of me wants to trust more people. But I'm just, I must be just stupid then. Because I'm still compulsively. Because I'm still compulsively, emotionally having relapses. Crying my eyes out, trying to get everything out. But all I can do is get my poetry deep and sensitive on a piece of paper and warn everybody who works with me that I can't trust nobody and I can't. And that I don't want to talk about it and that uh, I have issues. Seriously, I'm mentally ill. <laughs> Seriously, I was 14 when this went down seriously i was 14 when i put chris anthony to prison to jail for what he did to me now i'm finding out he's trying to get out for life walking the streets i swear i don't want i swear it's gonna kill me because i know what he's up to i know what his attentions are and that's to uh <laughs> temporary date rapes Temporary date with more and more and more women all around the world now. <laughs> I keep telling myself it's gonna be alright, but I swear the only way it's gonna be alright. The only way it's gonna be alright is if I keep talking to things. And yeah, you heard me, my God. Everything I do is for him, I swear. I got extra powers and uh, yeah, I got extra supernatural powers. Nothing is that anyone can do. Just bullshit, bullshit, bu 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 bullshit. Yeah, okay. Divya was really fun, seriously. But behind these doors, you don't see the real me behind these doors. All you s behind these doors, behind these suicidal door, behind this suicidal door, what you see is Satan's daughter. Seriously, having in hell's angel of death. Seriously, that's all what you see behind this door. I can't be no one else. I tried to be someone else, but it ain't helping. Seriously, after hearing the drama that my roommate had a seizure and he ended up in the hospital, I'm good. Emotionally, I just want to leave. Emotionally, I just want to run away and never come back here. I swear, cause my nightmares keep, all oh, my nightmares keep coming alive in the night time. I swear, of this dark place that you call home, when I call it a broken home. 
everyone thinks I'm normal, but I'm not. You gotta understand. What? You gotta understand. <laughs> I get TBI brain and brains got your sis and seizure grandma seizures. I can't deal with it anymore. And all you see are these deadly tears seriously falling from my eyes. Emotionally, because I can't hold on. I'm over the edge. I'm over the edge of the top. I'm never returning. And I can't. I can't keep fighting. I can't keep playing these games. I can't keep holding on. I can't. I keep telling myself I need to hold on, but there's nothing to hold on. There's nothing to hold on except for old, old past flame love that you were with. Old, old past true love. That's all what I got to hold on besides my fans around the world. That's all I have. <laughs> besides my major fans. <laughs> I do be old. Seriously, it's like a drug. This loving that Matt, Matt now, Matt, Matt, Matt now gives me. It's like adrenaline. I swear, it's I'm love struck. And what's what sucks more is I'm love struck and I'm love drunk off his love. Then I don't know what to do. My case so weird. I keep saying to myself, his best friend's hot. It's so damn hot. But seriously, I got a killer inside my head, and uh, yeah, I'm a cannibal. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I like to hit on guys all the time, 24/7 when I'm partying, when I'm up, being a wild child. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. It's mother nature. But I don't know what you call anything. Is some things I don't understand. You'll never understand this. I'm not. <laughs> I'm a, I'm an old hippie man's daughter. So yeah, I'm a hippie. I'm a hippie woman. <laughs> if I kill this man, I swear. Whatever. My mom keeps trying to say, "I love you." I, you know I love you. You know I think of you. I want what's best for you. And I, I'm sick and tired of hearing that she's going to be there in my life forever until the day I die. She hasn't been by my side ever since I was a kid. And now I'm trying to block her out. Draining. Drowning out all my pain. And drowning out all this family loving and hatred. I swear. I can't even be myself. I swear. Sometimes I don't know what to say. I'm a drag queen. Yeah, I'm a drag queen. I'm a cross dresser and everything in morning. Yeah, okay. I do look like a dude, and uh, yeah, I dress like a dude, and uh, yeah, I wear metal sexual Frankenstein boots, and uh, yeah, you'll never understand. I'm better than all your other women out there. I'm the newest badass bee. I'm the newest badass bitch on the block of Milton. Yeah, mm hmm. Raising the stakes. Triple high, triple high over the edge. Triple high, yeah, I'm raising the stakes. Extra triple high. Oh, yeah, all the way. High sticky drama on the way. Yes, I mean, said, oh, yeah, I just want to get low. And you know what? Yeah, I do want to be a bad girl. And yeah, I'm a naughty girl at times. And yeah. Guys keep calling me a freak. She's a freak, freak. She's a freaky girl. They keep saying to me, but I just, I just roll my eyes and be like, so what? It, like a sexual thing, you know? Whatever. Everyone keeps saying, yep, yep, yep. She's giving other men mixed, I feel mixed, mixed. That's right, mixed. Mixed true up signals. That ain't true. Y'all can go right in hell. Cause I'm sick and tired of being nice to you. Cause I would j I'm gonna go go what? I'm gonna go go what? I'm gonna go 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 out if you wanna go. You wanna fight? Let's fight. Cause I'm done. You whores keep running your mom telling me go fuck myself. Well, when you live across the street from my girl, that's how can I put it? From my girl, that's a that happens to be a badass bee 
and that I happen to be Emily Stranger, you would understand if you walked on these shoes of me. So whatever, see ya, who is and ya. Okay, you, you run your mouth. You don't take your medication for your seizures. You just run, run, run that mouth up yours. I'd rather punch you in the face, seriously. I don't give a damn. If I have to get physically violent, I don't give a fuck about you. The only person I give a fuck about is me and my lovers. Leave me alone. And uh, yeah, you keep running your mouth about my tattoos. But my nine, nine jailhouse lucky tats is, I don't care, I am not but, you know, I don't give a crap if you're talking about my nine jailhouse tat, looking tattoos beside my, besides my three piercings, I ain't gonna take it anymore, I ain't gonna take this bullish, any, 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 ish, any, 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 any,